Some not so kid friendly words and images found at a park last night. News 13's Jeannie Wynn is live at Paradise Skies Park with that story. Jeannie. Dean, the message was spray painted right here behind me and it shocked the people in this normally quiet neighborhood. It all started here with a message so crude we can't show you what it says. Pam and Alaska have lived here for 15 years and say activity like this is unusual for their neighborhood. Maybe a spot or two around the neighborhood. Uh, we've seen it, but at the park, this is a first for us. It's a problem the city says they fight all the time. The playground the, uh, supervisors and the playground inspectors go out and they do clean up on a daily basis. So it is, a, it is a daily occurrence that we're cleaning up this stuff. Parks and Rec says their playground inspectors constantly patrol the parks around Albuquerque to make sure they're graffiti free. In fact, this message was cleaned up within 24 hours. Bigger cases go to the Solid Waste Department. Solid Waste handles about 71,000 cases of graffiti every year. Uh, they have 18 crews dedicated just for uh, graffiti removal, and they respond within 24 hours of a 311 call. The city also relies on tips from the 311 app or word of mouth to track down graffiti. People like Pam and her husband, Alaska, are shocked to see this vulgarity in their neighborhood. They should go find their own place to paint their stuff. Pam and Alaska also tell me that they do their best to police this park as much as they can, and they're happy they no longer have to see those words in their park any longer. Dean, back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you. Now, Parks and Rec suggest that homeowners download that 311 app to report graffiti that they see anywhere around town.